What's up, Marvel fans? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we got a fun one for you. A much anticipated one for you today. All the way from 1998, a Toy Biz production and release. The famous, Marvel famous cover series. We bring you the Incredible Hulk. This is a figure um, that I have been wanting for a long time. I've had him, um, this particular Hulk, Incredible Hulk, on my... Uh, wish list for a long time and guys because we are a museum it was very difficult for me to uh, just pick out any particular Hulk figure from this uh, famous covers line I saw a lot of these guys on eBay um, the box was most most of the boxes had a lot of damage to them um, we paid a little bit more for this particular one because uh, he's in nearly excellent, perfect, as close to C10 you can as you can possibly get. That I'll settle for C9. He's somewhere around there. Um, he's mint in box, well preserved, and as you can see, these beautiful three-dimensional boxes. They look like uh, let's bring them down. They look like um, booklets. Three-dimensional booklets, and I've, you've heard me say that before in my uh, videos. And they, this is just fantastic, fantastic. At every level, um, Toy Biz did a, a really just a beautiful job uh, with these beautiful figures. Uh, the front of this box says that, you know, this is an eight-inch figure. Uh... I did research here at the museum, and the Hulk is uh, closer to 10, 10 inches tall. He's almost a 12-inch tall action figure. He's about 10 inches tall, so he towers over most of the uh, Marvel Famous Cover series uh, figures that came out in this line. Uh, maybe there is um, one or two that match him. Sabretooth is another figure that's built on the same body that the Hulk is. Um, this is just beautiful. It gives you the layout if you're a huge, uh, incredible Hulk fan. This is the side story on him. And we're looking at the issue number six, uh, 116 on the front cover there. Uh, we got this off of eBay. Um, it took a while. Like I said, I waited. Oh, my goodness. Um, I think I waited uh, maybe two months trying to find a perfect Hulk. And I know, guys, it's an illness with me. <laughs> but like I said, because um, we are a, uh, we are a uh, museum, so we are absolutely positively looking for the best action figure and condition of that action figure. And the box is included, guys. Um, what we do here um, at the MIB Master Toy Museum is uh, we preserve and protect uh, the historical value of um, these beautiful toy lines um, from yesteryear. You know, from 10, 20, in some cases, we have toys here that's 30 year, over 30 years old. And they're all preserved very well. I mean, we go out of our way to make sure that the, the box is in fantastic condition. As you can see, you can still see the, the sheen on this box. And the figure inside is just 
has been well preserved. The Hulk Mego figure from the 1970s was another really cool uh, Hulk figure. Uh, you have a, a few out there. This one is really, really cool. I think it uh, Toy Biz did a fantastic job at really capturing the very essence of the Hulk. And this is a, quickly has become one of my favorite uh, Marvel Famous Cover series uh, figures. Uh, I am just a huge, incredible Hulk fan to begin with. You can see he's got these gigantic hands. And so I am becoming just a, a, a big fan of the of the Toy Biz figures, um, fam Marvel Famous Covers series. And the Hulk, like I said, is just one of my favorite uh, superheroes. You know what you're getting with the Hulk, you know? I mean, it, there's not much uh, mystery to, to um, this creature. The head sculpt is beautifully done. And look, they did the paint job where they left in a little green mixed in with black. And this was by design um, no his head this does not have any paint rubs uh, that was by design um, I guess uh, toy biz was being clever that trying to capture this type of essence that green tint coming through And Toy Biz, like I said, they did a fantastic job on this particular Hulk. Uh, uh, this is one of the more desirable and expensive uh, figures um, that the uh, Marvel Famous Covers uh, series uh, figures toy line came out with. And he has maintained his uh, collectability. Like I said, I paid... Uh, much more than I... As a matter of fact, I think this is the most that I have paid for a Marvel Famous Cover series figure. And it's a lot of that is uh, due to um, this figure's uh, demand. He's he's highly in demand. Um, very de Like I said, very desirable figure. Um, you can see the muscles here, everything. Beautiful uh, ripped pants here. His iconic purple pants. So everything about this Hulk figure um, really screams classic and collectible. Uh, he is by far one of the heaviest action figures that I have at, a, at the 10 inch scale. Uh, especially from this uh, Marvel Famous Covers line. He's very heavy. Very heavy. So you can tell he's been made very well. Let's turn this figure around and I'll let you see the back. I had to keep him a certain way because he leans over. And here's our uh, hideous... Uh, Aunt May. <laughs> I mean, this figure, uh, I had a, uh, subscriber and a, a really cool collector buddy, uh, leave me a link, uh, where somebody actually did a video on this, uh, Aunt May figure. Of all the figures that they could have, they could have, uh, made, they made Aunt May. <laughs> and let's see, she's, only ten thousand was made. I bet you all ten thousand still is still on the toy store shelves too. <laughs> well, I'm sure somebody bought it, guys. Let's get you a year. Nineteen ninety eight. As you can see, factory sealed. Yeah, I'll open 
open this guy up for you again. So he has to balance because I have to balance this his uh, fifth panel here that helps him stay up because that's how heavy he leans so much forward because of just his massive upper body. Guys, what do you think of my uh, Marvel famous cover series Hulk action figure? Uh, do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? Not hard to find. Um, you can find this particular Hulk. Uh, I would say eBay first because and get find a seller that's going to take a ton of pictures and give you a detailed description of this figure, especially if you are looking for this figure in practically C10 uh, condition uh, as we have here at the MIB Master Toy Museum. So get your money's worth, guys. If you just want this guy loose, uh, I've seen him sold uh, loose for somewhere around $20 to $25. Um, the condition of him may not be that great, but you'll have a loose figure. If you just want him in your collection, you have to have him. And you don't want to pay an uh, obscene amount of money for him uh, mint in box. Then that would be the best way to go. Trying to get you the close-ups here. The um, collectors love the close-ups. Like I said, uh, we would like to welcome all of our our new subscribers, our old subscribers. We have been, our channel has literally been growing by leaps and bounds. And uh, we're not quite a year old yet. Uh, we, we, we turn, our anniversary is a... Uh, is a matter of maybe a week or so away. Um, we turned one years old, one year old on July the 26th. Our our channel will be uh, one years old on J July the 26th, and we got some some uh, some fun some fun things planned uh, for our one one year anniversary. So we're excited about that. We want you to stay tuned to that. Guys, we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us today here at the museum, um, sp spending your precious time with us. We shall return. I'm going to go and grab me a, a cup of coffee and tune into YouTube and watch a lot of my favorite YouTube personalities of the comic book genre, the action figure genre, you name it. I'm, I'm going to be watching all of my guys and ladies. With that being said, guys, God bless. And keep collecting.